What up, what up, it's your girl Jack Crisp. Your boy is back. I'm back. Feels good. Done my taxes. <sighs> Thanks, buddy. Lovely day for a stroll here. Here in Soho, I just dropped off my taxes. Uh, filed them, I'm broke now, so that's good. Can our son lead a normal life? Define normal. It feels good to be back in this city. Oh, the energy is popping, boy. Went on a run this morning, I took a deep breath, and I said, today is gonna be a good. Day. Now, one caveat to that. It's tax day, April 17th. Tomorrow is the last day of taxes, but this should be in the vlog for tomorrow, so it'll time up perfectly. I gotta pay my taxes today, and boy, is it a fing bitch. Alright, content update alert. Me and Guy are going to shoot a piece by Guy. Got a great video for tax day where. Guy sends money, cash, to the government uh, to pay his taxes like a good boy. But his envelope says uh, <laughs> Donald Trump, White House, Seattle, Washington. Uh, with no stamp Direct and no aim. return address. So Pat's going to be in a sticky situation. Not sure how he's going to get out of it. <coughs> why are taxes a bitch? Let me explain why. Okay. So, if you're an employee of a company, you're a W-2 employee, which means taxes are probably taken out of your paycheck every month, uh, and at the end of the year, you're probably right around even, and either you're gonna owe the government a little bit of money, or they're gonna owe you a refund back. Why do you care? Depending on um, what you made, what you spent. If you're self-employed, it gets a whole lot more complicated than that. I own my own business. I own two businesses. I own Crispy Shorts, and I own Jerry Media. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> Owner of both. Okay, so let's keep this very simple for uh, this uh, this tutorial. No matter how many companies that I have or I don't have, I, Jacrisp, James, pay my taxes at the end of the year depending on all the income I made from any different venture, whether I sell lemonade, whether I sell socks, whether I mow somebody's lawn. Well, I probably sweep that under the table and not pay taxes on it. But let's, <sighs> what do I pay taxes on? Anything I make, I have to pay taxes on. However, when you have your own company, you pay yourself with just checks. Nothing comes out of it like federal tax or state tax. You just write yourself a check from the business. Let's keep this very simple for math purposes. If I make 100,000 through whatever businesses I have, I owe taxes around 45% of that. So I have to write a check to the government at the end of the year for $45,000, okay? Simple. If you live in New York City, you owe a random 4% tax. So that's another four grand. So now I owe $49,000 to the government uh, by April 17th, April 18th. The government gives you a nice extension period. April 15th is about four months. Then government at least then go pay me, huh? So by tomorrow, if I made $100,000 last year and I have a business in New York, I owe $48,000, I owe $49,000. Because I'm a business owner, I owe quarterly taxes on what the government thinks I'm gonna make in 2017. I have no idea what I'm gonna make in 2017. So what they say is, okay, you made $100,000 last year, add 10% on top of that, and that's what we think you're gonna make next year. So the government assumes I'm gonna make $110,000 next year. What they say is, instead of having to pay all that at the end of the year, we're gonna force you to pay quarterly taxes on that $110,000. So the government assumes I'm gonna make 10% more than I made last year, which would be $110,000. Taxes at the end of next year would be $49,500. Well, the government says you're gonna pay us that in quarterly installments, which would be 12,375. So April, June, August, and December, I owe around $13,000 to the government just to pay taxes on money they think I'm gonna make for 2017, and I haven't even received that. This gets really complicated because you have to 
Write the government a check for money you may or may not have. And that means you gotta take money out of the, it gets really complicated. Taxes are a bitch. They literally destroy companies. It's impossible to do all this and have employees and keep money in the bank and then pay your taxes on something that you're very unsure about. And if you don't decide to pay those quarterly taxes, the government's gonna tax you in like a couple years and be like, oh, hey, remember in 2013 when you didn't make those payments? Well, we're gonna make you pay us that back plus interest, which gets outrageous. So the prudent thing to do is go with the flow, go with the punches, and pay your taxes. Don't freak out if you're not doing this because it only matters if you're self-employed. If you work for somebody else, you're a W-2 employee and you're good. It's probably taken out of your check. Um, but this has been on my mind for the last couple of months trying to figure all this out. Expenses, payroll, employees. It's complicated. Running a business is very hard. And these, uh, these taxes, man, they've been stressing me out. But I wrote a, a nice fat, oh, I was really fat, check to the government today. Feel good about it. It's like a thousand pounds off my back. Uh, even though I have to eat uh, street meat for the next few weeks, I actually do enjoy street meat. I wanted to get that off my chest. Um, it's really hard to run a business in New York and figuring out how to scale, uh, who to hire next. Um, ooh, Fire Festival just like my photo. <laughs> Thanks, Fire. Speaking of fire, uh, I go next Thursday to Fire Island in the Caribbean. It's gonna have like a Coachella-like uh, music scene on the beach. I'm really excited. We've been doing their marketing for the last couple months, so uh, really excited to see this thing take off. I think it's gonna be epic. Anybody's gonna be there first weekend, your boy's gonna be there, come and say what up, Joe Quiz. Anywho, pay your taxes, kids. If you haven't done it, today is your last day to do it, so write them government a check. Go on H&R Block, go on, uh, 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 what's it called, TurboTax. It's a lovely site, and uh, get your taxes done, man. Get your taxes won. It actually feels really good to learn about it. My mouth dropped to the floor when I heard about all these different taxes you had to pay, and quarterly installments, and back taxes, UBT tax. It's, it's, really, it's insane. I don't understand how anybody understands this crap. It's all conspiracy. How do you beat the system? is the question. Well, spend a lot of money and that brings your net revenue down so you only pay taxes on that bottom portion. Uh, the expenses gets paid for by the government and tax free. That's cool. I don't know, I, I felt like I had to vent about this tax situation today, but uh, I feel good, I'm not going to jail. I will see you tomorrow on a much better day for your girl, Chakras. Roma!